This is our lead scientist, Henley, and I'm his mom. Today we're going to be reviewing the National Geographic Microscope. Okay, out of five stars, how many stars would you give this microscope, Henley? Four and a half. Four and a half, that's pretty good. Okay, so can you tell us some things about the microscope? How about the different um, levels to the magnifying glass that's in it? There's four, there's a hundred, there's four hundred. I mean, that is, this is 40, this is 100, and this is four. Wow, so under the 400 one, you can see lots, right? Yeah. All right, so why don't you show us this? Yeah. This little compartment that comes out of the microscope. Let me show you that compartment. And there's lots of samples. So they've got um, pre-made samples that they yeah, gave us, and then some empty samples that you can fill yourself. What are some things you think you're going to put in your samples? A yogurt. Yogurt, that'd be a good one. We can see that good bacteria. What else? A baby. You can, some lettuce. That'd be cool. cool. What about, what about some gunk off your feet, maybe? No. Yes, we can see that bacteria. Slide your foot up here and let's take a sample. No, go ahead. Let's do it. Take this off. Do a smell test. Oh my, definitely some bacteria on there. Okay. We'll do that for later. Let's continue on showing our viewers the other parts. So you have this handy tweezers mm -hmm. for samples, mm -hmm. and also it came with this, where if you wanted to do like your yogurt you were talking mm -hmm. about, that would be good. And this pencil to write in your journal, right, where you can write your observations. Well, I think that's about it for today, so thanks for watching. Oh, now we're just going to one more thing to show you. Yeah. Now, there's lots of slides, but we're going to do only one today. Okay. And that is the onion one. Mm. Really cool. It's my favorite. Oh, neat. Is it an onion skin? Yes. Under the 40? Yes, under the 40. Okay. okay.